Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Pisces friends. It's Christelle Martinet here with a reading, a forecast into 2020. I usually do this at the end of each year, and you can go back into my playlists. You'll find them, I'm sure, somewhere. Um, forecasts um, of the year. I do them in December, and I usually do. And I think it's been four years now. I usually use the Lenormand uh, deck, the Oracle card deck. The Lenormand deck is a deck of 36 cards. Many of you out there who are readers may know them. And usually uh, readers tend to spread uh, grand tableaus with all of the cards and use the houses to give them information. Well, that's what I'm doing here, except I'm bringing it a piece of it and I've chosen which houses. And so it's, um, it's my personal you know, take on the mini grand tableau. And um, without further ado, I'll show you the table so you can follow me, and I'll show you then the cards. Let's see if this is... Okay, there we go. What's in store for Pisces for the year 2020? What's in store for Pisces for the year 2020? I'll first lay them. What's in store for Pisces for the year 2020. I'll first lay them and then show you each card. All right, here we go. All right, let me take a second to it. Evaluate here. Okay, let me show you the cards. These are the birds, the crossroads. You can see these cards are so very old. I've used them, they're the oldest. Um, the fox, it's the deck that are the warnest. The book. tree, the stork, heart, moon, there you go, the man, the key, the letter, the clouds, Sun, the scythe, the fish, and the bear. All right, now I'll first give you information concerning, I'll glean from the cards what is in store for you in each three year period first. So the first three year period, three year. <laughs> Sorry about that three-month period. January, February, March. January, February, March. What happens here? It, right at the beginning of the uh, year, as January starts, in the month of January, there will be a little bit of um, anxiety around issues of your health, um, especially if you are a male. But they are proven to be all okay. You go through the necessary testing in the three-month period, and you come out smelling like a rose, literally, um, Pisces. Now, there is a, uh, in the next trimester, well, there's another reading to that, actually. Um, there will be a lot of talk about your health in relation to a, a man. You'll be talking about your health to a male you're going to have the upper hand and convincing them and yourself that your health is really stable. And the third reading on that first trimester is that you'll be talking to a male about your health and what it means in terms of your roots and your tribe and your sense of home. And it will be such a compelling argument that it will convince that male, okay, whether you're female or male, it will convince that male um, of how even to go uh, and develop their 
conversation with you, the development of a relationship with you, either in business or in um, romantic terms. Now, the second uh, period, April, May, and June, starting in, in the spring here, we have um, an issue concerning your home, literally, all right? There's a um, decisions that you will be called to make or that you want to make, or maybe you will be compelled to make, but they will take center stage. And I see here that this could be in relation to the person we just saw who may offer you a different solution, a different housing solution, but I see that you stop them in their tracks and literally change the remote of your television screen, change the remote of your life screen, and just change the subject because you were not ready to do anything like that. In the third trimester, the period that goes from July, August, August and September, July to August and September, I'm looking here at you seriously considering how to improve both your romantic life and your business. Now, I say business, I mean business. I don't mean you working for another party. Even if you do, that project you've put away in the drawer, take it out and start it. Open your um, your website, start selling those objects, start, um, open a YouTube channel. You know, there, there's something that you've put away for a rainy day. This is the time, July, August, and September, to actually make a campaign. When I say strategize and you're thinking of, strategically thinking of how to improve your business, this is the time, July, August, and September, when you should be doing that. It will give you better returns, the best returns of the year concerning your work. Now, the last uh, trimester, October, November, and December, Pisces, I'm looking at um, you who do not understand, or maybe you're making believe you don't understand, um, matters of the heart. Now, I'll give you an example. You have been dating someone for a while, and You've known them for years and years and years and years, probably you know, seven years and 10 years, I don't know, 20 years. But it's been, you know, on and off and on and off. But there you are. You're still there. And you're starting to question the things that you don't know about them. You're starting to question, well, what happened to that person in all of those years that we didn't see each other? I don't even know them. I don't even, and you start, and it looks like to me that this is a false problem and it's born out of fear, it will blow over because by the end of the year here, I'm looking at a sense of stronger security that you're feeling in relation to that person. And to love in itself, you know, this is not necessarily um, geared or uh, aimed toward one person. It's as if you stop in your tracks after this last trimester you know, after this, uh, the three months period that went from July, August to September, where you concentrated on your work, which is relatively easy for us humans, because there's a problem, you solve it. There's a problem, you solve it. As soon as emotions become involved, we become stupid. Most of us, I mean, I'm putting myself in that, uh, in that pile of people there. You just become stupid. Uh, what happened? What happened? What do I do? What do I do? You go to a card reader, you know, you, you get a, a different take. You have other people look at you, your issues, so that you can understand. You, they put up a mirror and they try to show you what they're looking at so you see it differently. And this is when I suggest you should get a card reading. Um, even, if you're, even if you're a reader, have someone else do it. Um, and what I'm looking at towards that last uh, part of the year is truly... Um, it may be a spiritual crisis, actually. You know, the, the sense of, well, is, is love, well, it is, one. Is love overrated? But is love true spirituality? Is it the epitome of we talk, what we think of as divinity? Is it true that love 
is equates divinity? I mean, these are all questions that you ask yourself. And these are topics for my Mystic Talk series. And in January, I have an interesting guest coming, mid-January. So like I said, at the end of the year is when you get a better sense of security set in after you you, you know, churn, your stomach churns for two months towards the end with the holiday season 2020, you start coming out of it. Now I'm going to go through Pisces. I'm going through individual houses here that I've um, attributed to each position. And I start with the house of endings and beginnings. Endings and beginnings. This is something that will be making, well, let's put it this way. You'll be talking about this quite a bit. Many of you will want to change jobs. You want to uh, stop working in one place and opening your own business, changing jobs or getting your own business. Uh, you want to, so many of you may want to literally retire and, and do something else. Uh, there's going to be a lot of talk about that. It is something that ends and something it closes. And it's going to give you a lot of run, a big run for your money, because you're going to constantly be being like the hamster in the wheel. Choo -choo 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 -choo. Your mind is going to be thinking about it over and over again. Surprises, um, the area of surprises. There's surprises in the year 2020 are packed up in a box with a bow. It comes under the form of decisions that you need to make. And why is that? And I'll give you an example. Just like a person who's in your life and all of a sudden, out of the blue, it seems to you, out of the blue, they want to suggest you both go live together, for example, and you are floored. You are literally floored because maybe that was once something that you wanted, but now when you have it right in front of you, it may be a combination of fear and incred incredulous, you're being incredulous, that you don't know what to say and you literally say nothing. So the surprises that come to you are in the form of decisions that you are requested to make. That was an example. Endings. Endings. Here I see Pisces, and you have to sit down for this. Um, you're going to take the mask off in the year 2020. You're playing it straight. No more uh, joking, liar, tr trickster, any of that play, games, none of that. It's, it's over. That is over for you. If you have to strategize or manipulate or uh, try to make things, controlling things, it will be for a um, for your own purposes for business. You're going to strategize how you will make more money. You're going to strategize how you can save more money. But in terms of interpersonal relations, the mask is off. Now, um, I hope that you can stand now. <laughs> now we have... Um, and the house that concerns uh, spoken communication. This is presented uh, in somewhat of a mysterious guide, guise, in the sense that um, conversations, your ability to speak, your communication orally is always going to give you different type of feed, different types of feedback. I'll give you an example. To the same person, to the two different people you give the same talk to, the feedback will be radically different one from the other. You are your um, ability to speak and control and to convince and cajole is not going to be controllable for you. You have it's it's a, a joker's card. This is a wild card. So. Watch what you say and how you say it. This is what the message is here from uh, uh, the area of spoken communication. Now, in terms of your work, we took, spoke, spoke a lot about that, uh, your livelihood as well. We spoke a lot about it. Um, favored, very much favored, are family businesses, if you're working in a family business, or if it's your family business, and or if you have a health-related business, okay? Um, what I'm seeing here as well 
is that your work in the entire year is where you feel you can set your roots. It's, it's soothing for you. It has a, a sort of a homeward call for you. And that's why you spend a lot of time there. Um, the sense of security. The sense of security that I'm um, looking at here is a sense of going home. Remember I said in the second trimester in April, May, and June that a person may, may suggest you live together or will offer you a living solution where they may be more controlling or you know living in their apartment perhaps. They don't live there, but in any case, there's a certain amount of supervision there is not going to cut it with you because your sense of security has to be where you call home, where you hang your hat, your concept of home, and you're not ready to share that, even just the vision of it with another person yet. Your guidance, the domain here that concerns guidance, and I have to say that even if there is this person who is trying to come toward you and you step back, Pisces, I'm seeing this as a, um, a person who is very, who has your best interests in mind and is also a person who can act as a friend and who can guide you. This is a person and the situation with that person guides your emotional development. This is hard to accept and to swallow, but it is like that. Um, the area of, actually the area of home, the domain of home here, and I hear, again, I mean, I get these two cards, one after another, is the love, the emotional uh, house here. And um, home is where your love is. And by the end of the year, if you finally understand that that is the person you care for, that is the person you love, give yourself more time. But these are all signs to you that they're not going anywhere, Pisces. Now, um, public life. There's going to be a male in your public life. It could be, you know, courses that you take, training courses, and there's a group there. You go to spiritual retreats, you go to the hospital, anywhere, the church, anywhere there's a gathering or, you know, demonstration on the streets. But there will be a male figure that will... Um, be important for you, be important for you in more ways than one, both in terms of your livelihood and in terms of your emotional development. So look, be on the lookout for a male in the public life. Now, the obstacles. Obstacles are tricky here during the year 2020. Why? Because they are the theme in the year 2020 for you, because you want it to be. You're making them your theme. You're seeing obstacles where there are no obstacles. And you'll continue to do this all year long in the interest of solving any potential issues, warding off at the pass any problems. Okay, so so try to guard against that, that preventative um, uh, behavior because you're not letting yourself open. Decisions, actual decisions that need the house of decisions here, need to be addressed with pen to paper. It needs to be put in writing. Any decision of value, any decision that means something to your future, any decision that's linked to your business, even a response to that person in terms of their offer, needs to be done in writing so that they, it, so it sticks. You've heard the, um, the, at schools probably, that when you read it, when you write it on paper, it is re it sticks into your memory. And this is what the cards are suggesting you to do. Now the um, house of nuisances and problems, uh, ladies and gentlemen, Pisces, I see fleeting moments of difficulty here. There's no real uh, problem that continues to, uh, to, to, to thwart you throughout, throughout the year with the exception of what you do, because you are seeing obstacles all around. They're not there. Um, and they should be fleeting moments, but unfortunately, Pisces, you tend to be in this mode of 
you know, expecting, wanting to, you know, it's like you're, you're walking along with a child and, and they're riding on a bicycle and, and without any, uh, uh, training wheels and you run after them as if you know you could catch them if they're supposed to fall you know but that's not the um, that is that will uh, only lead to closing you off to certain emotions now the something hidden something that's hidden from you and this is an extremely important message here the sun is in that house when something's hidden from you it is only good. If somebody doesn't respond to your emails, if somebody doesn't respond to a text, it is only positive because they're taking the time to assess. So when is something when, when there's something you don't know, an answer that you don't have, know that that issue is take needs time to be solved on its own, most likely. Now, the matters of written communication, we touched on this just now for your decision making. I'm seeing here that matters of communication need to be dealt with quickly, very quickly and out of the way. But guarding that you cross your um, T's and dot your I's and be very careful with reading the fine print. Male influences in, in your life. We did talk about this male in a uh, public situation, they will be able to aid you when you're thinking of um, taking your um, private enterprise, your hobby, your, uh, your project that's oh, tucked away on the back burner in the closet there. When you pull that out in the third trimester, uh, July, August, and September, it will be a male that will be able to help you. Now, on the other hand, female influences, it is a female in your life um, in the year 2020 who will be there with offering you a greater sense of security. So the male is going to help you on the job work and the female in fostering a sense of security. So, ladies and gentlemen, Pisces friends, I do hope this was of help to you. Um, and I will be back. I'll be back with the January readings, the 1 to 15 and the 16 to the 31st. And in the meantime, like and share my videos if you appreciate them and subscribe if this is the first time here. Namaste. And until we read together again, happy.